Hadith number 46 Aban ibn Abi Ayash narrates from Sulaim ibn Qais He, Sulaim, said I said to Abu Zar May Allah have mercy on you Tell me the most surprising thing that you have heard From the Holy Prophet wasallam Concerning Ali ibn Abi Talib wasallam. He said I heard the Holy Prophet wasallam saying there are 90,000 angels around the whole Arsh throne whose dhikr and worship is nothing except obedience of Ali ibn Abi Talib and keeping away from his enemies and praying for forgiveness of his Shias. I said, May Allah have mercy on you apart from this. He said, I heard him say, Allah has specialized Archangel Jibrail, Mikail and Israfil for Ali's obedience and to keep away from his enemies and pray for forgiveness of his followers. So I said, May Allah have mercy on you apart from that. He said, I have heard the Holy Prophet saying, Allah has always established authority through Ali over every ummah that had a prophet and messenger present. And whoever knows Ali most is the one who has the highest status in the eyes of Allah. I said, apart from that, may Allah have mercy on you. He said, yes, I heard the Holy Prophet ﷺ say, if Ali and I were not there, then Allah would not be known. If I and Ali were not there, then Allah would not be worshipped. If I and Ali were not there, there would not be reward or punishment. And nothing can conceal Ali from Allah. No veil can come in between Allah and Ali. And he is a curtain and a veil between Allah and his creation. Sulaim said, Then I asked Mikdad, I said to him, May Allah have mercy on you. Tell me the most important thing that you have heard from the Holy Prophet wasallam concerning Ali ibn Abi Talib wasallam. He said, I have heard the Holy Prophet wasallam say, Allah is one in his kingdom. He first kept the light of all these infallible ones in front of him, then allocated his work to all these and gave them his paradise for themselves. Anyone whom Allah wants to purify from jinn and insan, he gives him the knowledge of the wilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And anyone whose heart he wishes to darken, he stops the knowledge of Ali ibn Abi Talib from him. By him in whose hands my life is, Adam did not become deserving that Allah creates him and blows his spirit in him and accepts his repentance and sends him towards his paradise but through my prophethood and after me through the reliance of Ali ibn Abi Talib. By him in whose hands my life is, Ibrahim was not shown all the natural things of the earth and skies and he did not make him his friend but through my prophethood and after me through acceptance of Ali. By God in whose hands my life is, Allah did not make Musa Kaleem, the one who talks to him, and did not make Isa, Jesus, a sign of Allah over the universe, but through my prophethood and knowledge of Ali after me. By God in whose hand my life is, a prophet never becomes a prophet until he acquired the knowledge and accepts our reliance. Nobody from the creation of Allah deserved it that Allah looks at him until he accepted being the slave of Allah and after me accept Ali. Then he kept quiet so I said may Allah have mercy on you besides this. He said yes the Holy Prophet wasallam said Ali is the organizer of this ummah and is a witness over it and is responsible for its account and that is the greatest sign and is very illuminated road of truth and is Allah's path. After me, guidance can be got from him after deviation, and through him can the light be achieved from blindness. Those deserving to be saved can be saved through him, and shelter can be got from death, and can be saved from fear, and through him sins can be erased, and persecution will be defeated through him, and blessings can descend. And this is Allah's eye which sees, and his ears that hear, and in creation his tongue, that talks, and on his slaves his hand is stretching with blessings, and his face on the entire earth and skies, and his right visible side, his very strong rope that cannot be cut, and his those doors 
through which one can enter and his that house in which one who enters is saved his that sign on the sirat path that he has made whoever recognizes him will be saved towards heaven and whoever denies him will fall in hell